It's the end of round 10. We just grabbed a couple of players that just finished their round to get some live impressions, what it's like playing in one of the largest tournaments ever in Europe and also the largest ever in Italy of all time. Here we got Eric Beck, who was like the points leader for most of the tournaments so far, constantly playing on table number one, undefeated the entire time. How did last round go? Uh, unfortunately, I lost the last round. Uh, my first loss of the tournament. Um, I expected to lose some time in the tournament, of course. I'm happy it happened this round, not the top cut. I was about to say, you're basically dodging the curse of Anubis, where you go undefeated in Swiss and then immediately get knocked out in the top cut. So, in a way, it could be good. Yeah, yeah, I didn't want to go XO because of the curse. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's a pretty good reason. How are you feeling about your deck choice for the tournament? Yeah, I'm really happy with the deck choice. Um, I was disappointed, disappointed after London because I made a bad call with the deck I played. But now I'm back on strikers, which I know like to play really good, so I'm right. pretty confident. Okay, and uh, what's your secret? I mean, you're constantly very consistent to, um, at the top of the tables, basically. Uh, what do you do in between tournaments to make sure that the next time you're also going to do well again? I think the biggest, uh, my biggest advantage is the friends I have in the game mm -hmm. and how we play this together. Right. We have a Skype call, uh, the Greek Skype call, and we gather every day to talk and test. Come up with strategies yeah. and everything. And do you, is there ever a moment where somebody like finds a new strategy and keeps it to himself or do you always share everything? No, we always share. Like, we can't, we can't have that in our team, in the, our Skype call. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck. We're going to see you in the top card. So with that, we're going to find another player and hear from him what he's got to say.